Go ahead, but turn it right. Hey Denise. Hi. Hey the Corporation Housewife. Hey everybody. What's up, Soul Squad? Hey No Life, what's up? Hey, thank you, uh, Petri Carolinas. Hey Juanita, hey Margaret. Hey uh, Miss Hanson, hey Debbie, hey Bird, hey Jennifer, hey Queen. Hey Angela, hey Miss Doll, living my best life. Hey Tony, hey Sandy, hey Lady D, hey Ethel, hey Carlita, hey Lele, Lakeisha. Oh my God, they come in so thankful. Tracy, baby, what's up? Oh, uh, Tracy, okay, I love that game. Yes, another house. Everyone doing a date. Low I said, this is another creative game. By my girl, my brother's wife, my sister-in-law, who be doing her thing, y'all. She be doing her thing. She be giving me so much stuff to do on my channel. And I pretty much like this one. Y'all, first of all, before we even get started on the game, who's having a bad day? We got to play this game to wrap things up. I'm having a bad day today. I'm having a bad day. Y'all, so we got to do something to wrap this up, okay? Hey, Royalty Forever. Um, Yes, me, me. And we got to turn this around. We about to have some fun. What happened, so see what happened to my wrench? I don't know. So thankful I don't. So on Saturday, I'll put that wrench back because, you know, I could do it when I'm on the computer. I don't know how to do it when I'm on this telephone. <clears throat> I'll put it back. I don't know what happened to it. Um, so, bad days of all days. First of all, I'm out vlogging. Hey, um, Hallmark, how you doing? Um, I'm out vlogging, because you guys like the vlogging, so, and I'm trying to get out the house more, so that's a good thing. I'm driving, I'm getting, I'm feeling better with the driving, getting out the house and everything. And so, I'm out vlogging, so I went and got me a new telephone today. Went and got me this iPhone S, whatever iPhone S for me and my son or whatever. I got that. That's the first thing. That part worked out good. I got a new cell phone. That worked itself out good. Um, get home. I don't know how to transfer. Hey, Evelyn. I don't know how to transfer anything from my old iPhone to my new iPhone. I don't remember no passwords to the clouds, in the clouds, off the clouds, up in the clouds. Um, Miss McGurry <laughs> said I don't have a purse. Uh, so, um, yeah, y'all. Y'all, that's what I do, more Amazon boxes. I haven't quite got that damn pack. So ignore those packages my son bring me in the house. I'm going to get there, though. And um, it was just crazy. But my son helping me, you know, my baby, he said, well, what you going to do? You know what I got? You know, you know what I did? I threw it in the box. My son said, you're fine. I said, I do it in the box. I said, I, this is what I said. I said, F-U-C-K. I just don't use it. I said, ain't nothing but a phone. I said, I stick to the phone. I stick to my regular phone. Yes, we are, Lakeisha. I said, I stick to my old phone. I said, F it. And I threw it in the box. And he shook his head because I got frustrated of all the transferring and, and doing this and doing that. I can't remember passwords. I never, I didn't thought... The EIG password, Facebook password, Twitter password, my TikTok. I don't even use a dang on TikTok. TikTok, why well, do we have a TikTok? I, I don't know, no passwords to nothing. And so I took the phone and I threw it in the bag and I said, you know what? It is what it is. I said, F that phone. I use what I got. I ain't tripping off that phone. It's a phone. My son just shook his head at me. <laughs> that was this part of being frustrated. And you get upset. And I have, I can't conclusion now. I just start writing down every past word that I had. I, and I try to make everything. Hey, Ray, Mac, kitchen the grill. I try to make. 
Our, yes, yes. Our son is crazy, Mr. Montgomery, if you want to take it there. <laughs> and so, um, secondly, y'all, guess what I did? Okay, Brandon has facial clippers. Clippers, they call trimmers or something that you use for the face to trim your beard and hair up. He been asking for three days. Anybody seen my clippers? Anybody seen my trimmers? I've been ignoring them. I ain't want to say nothing. And so this morning, he got up for work. Like five, he got up six o'clock this morning. He was running late for work. But he wanted to trim his face up. And he said, Mom, where's my trimmers? You see my trimmers? You see my trimmers? I said, Brandon, I ain't seen no trimmers. He knocking on Andrew's bedroom door. Is my trimmers in your room? Andrew's like, man, what time is it? Ain't no trimmers in my room. And I'm sitting on the edge of the bed on like this. And then he knocking on Joshua's bedroom door. I said, Brandon, don't knock on Joshua's door. The baby in there, and it's 6 o'clock in the morning, and you know she got to get up for school. He said, but I need my trimmers. Joshua always got my trimmers. So he finally get in Joshua's room. Joshua said, ain't no trimmers in this room. I ain't seen no trimmers. So he running around the house going up downstairs in the basement, looking in the bathroom in the basement. He come upstairs, looking in the bathroom in the basement and stuff. And so he can't find his trimmers nowhere. Y'all know why he can't find his trimmers? I've been scared for the last three days to tell him I threw them in the trash. But on my defense, I threw them in the trash because I was cleaning out my bathroom cabinet. Guys, I was cleaning out the bathroom cabinet. And when I went to pull the trimmers out the cabinet, somebody knocked at the rib doorbell ringing. When I went to pull the trimmers out the cabinet, they looked like they were broken. They looked like they were broken. So today, when he finally leave for work, Joshua said, I said, all right, Joshua said, we're bringing the trimmers in. I said, all right, Joshua, I said, I'm going to say something. He said, what? I said, um... I think I threw his trimmers in the trash. Joshua said, you what? I said, I think I threw them in the trash. I said, they were in the bathroom underneath the sink. I said, they looked like they were broken. Some <laughs> I said, they looked like they were broken. So I threw them in the trash. And you know what this Bama going to tell me? Oh, I can't wait till he get home. He's smacking his hands. This Joshua smacking his hands together. My, oh, I can't wait till he get home. Oh, I'm snitching. Oh, I'm snitching. I'm snitching on you. I said, you ain't got snits, because I'm going to tell him. I said, you don't got a snit, so I'm going to tell him. So he come home for work this afternoon, we're about five something, and he's still looking for his damn trimmers. I said, Brandon, he's standing right there. He said, what, Ma? I said, I got to tell you something. He said, what, Ma? I said, um, I got a confession to make. He said, what, Ma? Hey, Eva, I am. I'm feeling a lot better. I said, um, I think I probably... Do your trimmers in the trash? He said, huh? I said, I think I probably threw your trimmers in the trash. And he go look underneath the cabinet in the bathroom. He said, what you mean you threw them in the trash? I said, I think because when I was cleaning out underneath the sink, I told y'all to come and get y'all stuff underneath the sink. I said, and I don't know nothing about no clippers. They look like they were broken to me. It looked broken to me. It looked like a piece was hanging off of him. And then here come Joshua putting his two cents in, talking about, and see, and there you go. How you going to throw something in the trash when you just said to yourself, you don't know nothing about no trimmers, but yet they look broken to you. Man, they was a hit gun on me. He said, Mom, I think I paid $80 for those trimmers. I think I paid $60 for those trimmers. I said, boy, I said, I will give you the $60. For the trimmers. He said, like, no, I think they were 80 because I got them from the hair supply store. I said, no, because I heard you telling Joshua on several occasions when he wanted to use your trimmers, you kept telling Joshua you could get your own. I only paid $60 for them. I said, I heard that so many times. I said, so you owe me 40 I'll give you 20 and he'll talk about, huh? I said, that's just like me paying for him. And it's just like me paying for him. And somebody, if you owe me 40 I threw away your trimmers. And that means you don't have to pay me back the 40 I just add another $20 to them. That's $60, and that's your trimmers. And he was like, 
That's like me spending money. I said, no, it's not like you spending money because you owe me the 40. You just going to give me my $40 tomorrow. I'm telling you to keep the 40 and I'll give you another 20 and then your trimmers. Then you'll try to say they cost $80. I said, them damn trimmers ain't cost no $80. Well, you want to get them off of Amazon. Oh, now. That was just, I just, I just been having a crazy thing going on today, right? And it's the next thing that's going on that all my family. So, guys, I got this thing, this thing called Lucy, right? Hey, boo, I can't pronounce your first name to shout you out from Charlotte, North Carolina. <laughs> um, um, I had this thing called Lucy. She's my back scratcher. I had her since December. I got her for Christmas. Yes, I named my back scratcher Lucy. Okay, Lucy is always disappearing because my granddaughters always got her. They always playing with her. One time, like a week and a half, two weeks ago, Lucy went missing for four days. She went missing for four days because Sahara went home. Sahara came back four days later and said, oh, bougie. Okay, thank you, Tracy, baby. Hi, bougie, boo. Hey. And, um, and she went missing for four days. Sahara came back. And she said, Grandma. I said, what? She said, I got Lucy. Because Sahara called Lucy her favorite cousin. They called Lucy the back scratch of their cousin. And I said, where was Lucy at? She was in my toy box. Okay, so Lucy went missing for four days. She was in Sahara's toy box. I got her back. Okay, that's good. I think I had her for a bougie boo. There you go. I think I had her like for two days. Now remember, Sahara was still here. And then now my little my little lady and our East is in the house too. She's always taking Lucy. Just when I be looking for Lucy, I'll tell Michael or her mother, do y'all daughter got my Lucy? And they be like, no. And then 15 minutes later, they come with Lucy out the room talking about all oh, NI East had her. Hey, Angie Jones. So Lucy has been missing since I went on Amazon and I printed Lucy out. I printed about five pages of Lucy and I put up a, a, a missing poster. I put up missing since August the 28th, 2020. Reward. Uh-huh. Last seen on my bed. Um, Call me. Ask for Tanya and put my telephone number. And I put her everywhere. I put it on the basement door, the front door, the bathroom door, everybody bedroom doors. And everybody woke up. They like, Mom, what the hell? They said, no, you didn't. I said, my loose. I said, this is a serious business. When your back get the itching, you can't scratch your back. I need my Lucy, and she been gone for too long. I can't find her. Me and my mother, I lift up the sofa. I look behind my bed. So now at this point, I got a missing person in the house. So this is, I took this off the front door for you guys to see it. These are hung everywhere in my house. And everybody's about, what's the reward? I said, you need, let you once you find her, I tell you what the reward is. So y'all, anybody seen my Lucy? She missing. <laughs> Yes, I did. Hey, that's the prank. Yes, I did. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah, that's not my personal. That's my business number. Don't worry about that. That's the number that's on my website. That's not my personal number. That's a text now number. So we all good with that. Yeah. So, um. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah. So this is what's been going on in my day. And on top of it, now it's raining. They dumping trash. I Oh, and just get this all out. I haven't eaten yet. I've been up since 6 o'clock this morning. On the go. Getting Jackson for school. Um. Going here, going there, and it is now almost seven o'clock at night. I have not had one stitch of food in my mouth, not at all. I haven't eaten anything all day long. But I was not, and then when I decided to get something to eat, it was like 5 15, and my son. And his girlfriend, his fiance, they said, uh, Mom, you want us, we just ordered Chick fil A. You want some Chick fil A? I said, No, I don't want no Chick fil A. And Michael said, Huh, you don't want no Chick fil A? I said, You know why? I said, Because I want some turkey sausages and eggs. I said, All day long, I was supposed to be making, oh, yeah, more Amazon boxes came right Mom, there. Don't panic. What? Don't move. 
What? What? Don't move for what? Mouth. What? What do you do that? That's why I don't like none of my kids. I don't like none of oh, my bro. kids. Oh my, get look at this, a piece of steel. Get away from me. Tell my don't move and you're not so you went in out the door. Don't make a bug came in the house when you opened the door up or something. That was hilarious. You know what? Y'all, let's get this thing going because they gonna make me hurt them. They gonna make me hurt like that. them. Wanna see some more stuff like that? Give me like five likes. They gonna I'll make me hurt them. They know I'm scared of every day going thing. Uh, I'm scared of everything. They, I'm, oh, so come on, ladies, grab a pen. Grab a paper, cause I forgot to tell y'all in the comments to grab. A My kids always scare me. I be somewhere quiet, and they'll just say "boo," and I jump because I don't be expecting that stuff. I'll be into looking at a TV show or just doing anything, and they scare me. And they always say, "How you be scared?" And it's a house full of people. I don't know. I just do. Okay. Grab your purse. Grab your purse. Grab your purse. This is a big one, guys. Grab your purse. Now, we are keeping points. I can't, I won't know whether or not you're honest or not, but you're my soul squad. So I pretty much agree that you guys will be honest. Now, we ain't winning nothing at the end. It's just that the person with the highest points could say, hey, I won the soulful tea in the purse game challenge, something like that. But, it's about having fun. It's about doing different content, doing different things here on YouTube to bring you guys some enjoyable fun. Because after the day I didn't had, I need to have some fun. I confess to throwing away something. I, um, I got a missing person report out on my Lucy. Um, what else I said I did? I haven't eaten all day yet, and it's almost 7 o'clock at night, Easter Sandy time. Um, it's raining outside. We we <laughs> we gotta pull this day together. We gotta pull this Thursday together. Okay, so grab a pen and paper. I forgot to tell you that in the comments, cause we will be keeping points. I got just the point system. I got the points on how many points you gonna get for whatever what, 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 whatever I tell you. Guys, so at the last minute, if you got like five seconds to go throw whatever you want in your purse, cause, and it's a good time, ladies. And sorry, fellas, sit back, have some fun, and enjoy the ladies. It's ladies night. Hey, it's ladies night, and oh, what a night. Oh, yes, it's ladies night. Hey, Michelle, boy, Always welcome this ladies night yes but fellas stay in watch us we gonna have some fun and it's be a good reason to clean out your purse you know you need to clean that purse out you know you got something up in there that shouldn't be in there right yes so let me know when y'all ready hey sister new life journey grab your purse girl grab your purse they always smelling and i only got kids i got grown men I got one kid. E15. Got grown men. <laughs> hey, Paula. Hey, Sandy. Oh, you welcome, Michelle. She is a soul squad member, guys. Welcome to Michelle. Hey, Maddie. Hey, Shanice. Hey, Tracy Harris. Hey, Lucy. Look, I got it. She ready. Y'all got it. She ready. So, I'll be pulling out the things, too. Now, let me just let y'all know, this purse was put together by my sister-in-law, okay? This list and game was put together by my team members. I got a team of people that work with me to try to help me develop my YouTube channel, and they're all family, and I'm so grateful to them. And she's new to the team, my sister-in-law, and she, and she's been the sip and paint, the, um, the August um, drinks, um, and what we got coming up in August and October on Fridays, she really been landing out 
on me and helping me get new content. So I'm so grateful to her. She's at work right now. She got to come home the night and she said she's going to look at the playback. So my sister-in-law, he, she, she came in doing this thing, helped me with my Friday, come up with these Friday lies or, or, or stuff like this with this content. Well, why are you laughing, Brady? <laughs> and just like this, just come. Brady, you know, everybody go to the. Y'all can see how much Brady is hiding from people. That's crazy. <laughs> y'all see how much stuff people order in my house. He getting food now. They, I'm telling you, everybody say, hey, Brady. You might as well take the cover off, Brady. He laughing like I don't know what. <laughs> <laughs> He's about he look a hot mess. What you order, McDonald's? No, it's all right, my baby. Yeah, look, he order McDonald's. They, that's all they do is order food in this house all day long. All right, y'all, y'all ready? Okay, it's no particular order. Oh, I gotta do something real quick. Hey, hold on, y'all. Hey, hey, Jack. Y'all ain't hear me, did you? Y'all always say I can't whisper when I be trying to whisper. But I got it this time. Okay. They say, hey, they, and look, I woke Josh up by the seat. He's laying right here on the sofa. He had school today. I came home. I ain't been home all day. And then I came back. He on the sofa knocked out underneath a blanket. And I said, did you even do school? He was doing school when I left. You heard me. Y'all heard me. So if y'all heard me, you better go get it. That's a freebie. Uh. Uh, cause that's how I can't whisper. If you heard me, whoever heard me, y'all better get it. That's a freebie because I forgot to put it in my bag and I'm going to put it in here. And somebody say, hey, brother. Uh, okay, y'all ready? So the first thing, I'm going to do something easy and I'm going to tell you what the points is, right? Hey, R. Smith. Okay. I'm going to do this one first because with everything going on in the world right now, you know you better have this in your purse. Hand sanitizer. If you got hand sanitizer in your purse, hand sanitizer is worth five points. It's worth five points. Remember, we're not winning anything at the end, but just to say that, you know, you won the Soulful Tea Purse game. So, Jesse, go get what I told you to go get. He lay by seat. So everybody should have this in their purse. Hand sanitizer. If you got hand sanitizer, that's worth five points. Write your points down because you're going to tally them up at the end. So let me go see if I got hand sanitizer. <laughs> okay. Everybody better have that. Y'all know we better have that in our purse. What's your... I know it's in here. I got so much stuff now. I don't want to pull nothing. Oh, y'all can't see what I pull out anyway. So let me. I'm trying to eliminate along with you guys. Jesus, girl. And I can't look in. I'm playing the feeling game. That's crazy. I can't even pull out my own thing that I request that was in here. I don't even know if that's it. Oh, let me see. Nope, that's not it. I know I got hand sanitizer. <laughs> that's a dad gonna say. Oh, um, I should have went through the purse and found out where everything was at. But I gotta take everything out before I can pull it out. <laughs> Cause everything is dark. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna have my stuff sit to the side. <laughs> Y'all can't see anyway, so. Oh my goodness. Okay. Jesus. Oh, <laughs> Five points of hand sanitizer. <laughs> this dad go press so big, the stuff got lost. Oh, somebody said I got a pistol. With, ooh, we ain't doing that one. <laughs> okay, so five points of hand sanitizer. Add your points up. I'm sitting this to the side. Go get what I told you to go get. Find it. Okay. Ask Brandy, he know. Jackson, seriously? Um, 
No, I don't want that one. It's in this one. Look. Okay. <laughs> I mean Jackson though. Okay. So that's five points. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do, it's raining outside. An umbrella. Ten points if you got an umbrella. Ten points if you got an umbrella. It's raining outside. You never know when it's gonna rain. You yes. Uh, Mama Jackie went home this morning. Oh, I got a story for y'all. I'm going to tell y'all at the end. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, an uh, umbrella. Ten points if you got an umbrella. Just because you got to have an umbrella in your pocketbooks. No, ten points for the umbrella. Five points for the hand sanitizer. So if you got an umbrella and hand sanitizer, you should be up 15 points. Look, uh, Chad said, Chad Cross, she said, I got an umbrella. Yes. Um, five points for the hand sanitizer. Ten points for the umbrella. So if you got hand sanitizer, somebody said, yes, tote umbrella, yes. So if you got the hand sanitizer and the umbrella, you should be up 15 points. Yes. Uh, Miss Debbie said, I got 10 points, so she had the umbrella, but no hand sanitizer. Okay. Y'all ready? Write your things down. Lipstick or chapstick? You my ladies, you my girls. Lipstick, chapstick, lip gloss. Two points. Lipstick, chapstick, lip gloss. Two points. And let me see. I got chapstick. So at this point, look, I don't keep adding up for you guys. <laughs> if you got the, if you got um hand sanitizer, umbrella, and lipstick, chapstick, or lip gloss, you should be up 17 points. Let's say on deck with the purple. Yes. Yes. Or if you just got the lipstick, chapstick, equals two points. Equals two points. And I see Debbie got 17. Bubbly got 17. Lakeisha got seven. Phyllis got 15 so far. Okay, Mimi up seven. Okay. Of course, Carl Max Strawberry. I know that's right. Oh, that's what I got? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Miss Bullock up 17. Mama T up 17. Erica up seven. Denise up seven. Paula up 12. Okay. We ain't got no guns in no pocketbook. Who I was saying that? Somebody said, oh, Maddie Johnson at zero. I'm sorry. Somebody up at two. Special K up seven. Lady Yo up seven. So thank you up seven. Living, um, living with um, T is up seven. So I had seven. Okay. The next one. Could you go? Hey, Jackson, could you go search for that, please, for me? The next one. Let's see. It's keys. If you got some keys in your pocketbook, keys are five points. I'm not. Then yeah, Lucy said, no, I took a. If you got some keys in your pocketbook, keys are five points. I don't care if they're keys to whatever. Keys are five points. Add your points up, ladies. Yes. Miss C up 22 points. Tanya got seven points. Um, Miss Harris got seven. Somebody got five points. Yes. Car keys. Yes. Get them keys. They can be a dog key, a locker key, any kind of key. No, I don't care if you do have three lipsticks. Lipsticks and stuff, it's just two points here. We ain't doing no adding up. <laughs> I can't with New Life Journey. She always try to do something. Miss Patty said she got 12. Um, <laughs> so they all said hanging on the wall. Y'all know Tia always trying to change up a situation. Okay. The next one I think everybody should have. Five points for a wallet. If you got a wallet in your purse, pull out your wallet. You should have five points. I got my wallet. Okay, Miss Billy says she up 20 points. New Life Journey up 16 points. Lucy up seven. If you got a wallet, a wallet is worth five um, five points. Let me check off what I, well, I put it all the way over there. A wallet is worth, uh, Tracy Baby up 17 points. Baby, I'll say yes. So thankful for 17 points. Yes, can't shop without one. Five points for a wallet, ladies. Five points for a wallet. 
Okay, yes. I see Poetry Queen for Life at the points up. I got an empty sump somebody said. <laughs> hey, Batonya Brown got 27 points. Oh, yes. Oh, empty throw right laugh out loud. Okay. Oh, now, let me see. If you got what? A bottle of water. Ladies, I'm pulling out water. Because you know you be, need to be thirsty when you be out in those streets. You got to have some water. I said, I bet we all the chapstick in. That's two points, Lucy. If you got a chapstick or lipstick, yeah. I said lipstick, chapstick, lip gloss was two points. So if you got it, that's two points. Okay. A bottle of water gets you ten points. A bottle of water gets you 10 points, ladies. You got to dehydrate in those streets, okay? It's like, I get water. No water, no bottle. Bottle of water gets you 10 points. I got the coldest water bottle in the building. I do too, right? But I ain't got it in my purse. But I got a bottle of water gets you 10 points. Okay? I'm going to give y'all time to add y'all some. No, okay, man, if you got the coldest water bottle... In your part in your purse, we go there and you got water in it. It's a bottle of water. So a bottle of water. I'll accept the coldest water bottle. And if you got water in your pocketbook, I'll accept 10 points. Somebody say 37 points and I have flavor. Uh what, what you say? You got flavor. 30. So somebody got 35 points now. Wow. Nobody said I still had zero. <laughs> okay, I had 17 points. Um uh, royalty for life said I found some chapstick. Okay, I carry the water. <laughs> I carry the water too. That's why I take some fluid pill. <laughs> but we ain't counting that one. Okay. The next we're going to do. Y'all know. When we go to the bathroom, everywhere we go, we got to grease those hands, lotion those hands. Lotion. If you got some lotion, you got five points. If you got any type of lotion, some bath and body work, some Victoria's Secret, some Dollar Tree, whatever you got, you got you some hand, some hand cream, you got some lotion, you got five points. Ooh, New Life Journey up 28, Miss Bullock up 32, um, Teresa, um, Miss Harris up um, 20 something, Erica 32, Sharon 22, Tracy Baby 20, Tanisha Harris up 20, Dorothea up 32, somebody had 45 points, okay, Michelle is up, Royalty, Ava, yes, Debbie 32, Patty 32, Tracy Baby 30, Victoria, Red, Black, and Green, Legends 27, Lady Leo 17, yes, R. Thomas up 32, alright, so this gave you guys... and this was lotion, 5 points, Lady D up 42, Miss Tony, 22. Miss Queen, Bubble Queen, 42. Okay. This is something. All right. Now, this this is, now, I know this would be true because I got a girlfriend who I go to restaurants with, and this chick will pull this out. And I know y'all know somebody that pull this out this pocketbook, so this is not too far set fetch. You got some hot sauce. If you got some hot sauce in your pocketbook to flavor up that food in the restaurants, you get an extra five points. You know you got to have some hot sauce. Who don't carry no hot sauce? Because my girlfriend carry hot sauce. Somebody said, slow down. Okay, where I leave off on you? Somebody said, slow down. Somebody said, Jelly said, yes, I have lotion. Oh, you know what? And that's so true. I'm going to um, slow down so that I get people. Because your pocketbook was junky like mine. You may. Thank you. I'm going to slow down. I'm going to give you a couple of seconds um, to look for what you need. Because you might have a big pocketbook. It may be overflowing with stuff. So let me slow down a little bit. Hot sauce in my bag swag. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Because I got a girlfriend that carries hot sauce. Oh, Cookie Monster. Oh. She ain't shy play. So do your points up. Yeah. Your kitchen, your your kitchen way, my kitchen my way. We are paid lean. We are playing the what's in your purse game. The last item, hot sauce. And that gets you five points. Five points with the hot sauce. 
Basically, it goes like this. Pizza Do you guys carry every day with the kitchen kit? <laughs> well, I pretty much, this game was set up for me. So, half the stuff I do normally carry, but some extra things were thrown in just for fun. You know, to make it challenging. Hey, Sippy Poo for two hours. We playing What's in Your Purse game. That's so ghetto fabulous, right, Maddie? It is so is. Okay. Let me see what else. That's your package right there. Behind your head. Okay. Let's see. I got a front and a half of back. Okay, y'all ready? If you got a picture in your purse. Look at Jackson. He's so cute. Five points for a picture. It could be a picture of your dog, a picture of you, a picture of a friend, of your boo. But if you got a picture, you get five points. Look at my Jackson. He made this for me for Christmas, y'all. Yes, hey, he see why? That's it. I'm telling you, you got a picture in your phone. Hey, it's a picture. A picture is five points. Mm-hmm. Take your time. I'm going to give y'all a couple of minutes. I was moving too fast because you know why? I'm so excited. I'm so glad. I love the game. It gives me a chance to interact with my... Does my driver's license count? It's a picture. It's a picture of you. She ain't put down here no stipulations. So I give you that point. Yes, I will. It's a picture. I don't care what it's on. It's a picture. Five points. Yes. Phone pictures count. Yes. It's a picture. She didn't stipulate me. Now, y'all ready? Y'all know, just like the first one, y'all got to be safe in these streets from that COVID-19. If you got a mask, ladies, this is the biggest point saver at all. If you have a mask in your purse, 15 points. 15 points because safety is key. Safety is key. 15 points for a mask in your purse. Lucy says still at 17. <laughs> yes. Yes, 15 points. Somebody said a mask should be 100 points. <laughs> if you got some type of mask, disposable mask, a cover-up, whatever you putting on while you're in those streets being safe, you get 15 points for a mask. Take your time. Buy your mask. Oh, Paula up 48 point. Miss Hall up 32. Say, so yes, I got a mask. Somebody up 57. Oh, 62. Yes. Yes. That's what I'm saying, y'all. Y'all, I, I got three masses, but we only get 115 points. Don't be like New Life Journey. <laughs> Trying to add up your masses and your lipsticks and stuff. <laughs> oh, y'all tickle me. <laughs> Okay, y'all ready? For all my Bobby dolls out there, beauty queens who never leave home without them, may got a pair, but not the ones that's on your eyes right now. But what you got? Somebody of 60 points, a pair of eyelashes. If you got a pair of eyelashes, let me get the points on these. Five points. Five, huh? Five points. For eyelashes. Guess what, T? Five points for eyelashes. My girl, Organ Libra. Organic Libra is like doing it, putting the points up there. Thank you, Ma. Thank you. You know, we got some beauty queens out here. You know, I don't wear them either, but some people got them on their eyes, but if not on your eyes, but in your purse, them extra ones that you carry around. So was he going to the club? <laughs> it's like no glasses make me feel like a horse. <laughs> okay. No eyes. Nope. Nope. Okay. Somebody said I was born with it. I know that's right. <laughs> okay. A lot of stuff I done knocked out my purse. Y'all ready for this one? A comb. If you got some type of cone, some type of pick, some type of dye in the cone, some type of whatever you do, this is worth two points. A cone is worth two points, ladies. Yes, really, Tia. People still carry a cone. 
A comb is worth two points. You know you got to be looking fresh. Stop playing with me, New Life Journey. Yes, get that comb. Oh, Mama T speaks up to 64 points. Yes. And when I put this up, it said my mask say on my face. Kill, kill. <laughs> Y'all funny as heck. Oh my God, a cone, two points. I got a cone, 60 point plus five. Yes, Britannia Brown, you doing it. Yes, Monica. Yes, Phyllis, 62, yes. Yes, Miss Edwards, 44. Yes, it has to be in your purse, baby. Hey, DC Kool-Aid Lisa, Lady D got 59, Shelly got 64, Curl got 64, so thankful got 54. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, but guess what? New Life Journey ain't too far off, because guess what? If you got a wig in your purse, it is worth 10 points. If you got a wig in your purse, it is worth 10 points. Nope, that's not on my list. Remember, I didn't create this. This was created by somebody else. <laughs> somebody say, hell no. Somebody say, I had braids. It's a wig. It goes in your head. If you got a wig, it is worth 10 points. If you got a wig. Somebody say, it's on my head, girl. <laughs> I'm, say, I'm as surprised as you guys are with the stuff that's in this purse. She did a good job. Oh, my God. Somebody, somebody said, what? You a 10. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hold it at 57. Oh, man. I get a comb. Okay, the comb is worth two points. I'll go back. Somebody said, now I wish I had a wig. Somebody said, I have a wig, but not a wig. I'm stuck at 42. Ah, uh, we ain't finished. Somebody say, hell no. <laughs> yes, if you dread hair, and that's yes. Okay, so we don't get rid of that. I think I done messed the purse up, y'all. Because I done pulled so much stuff out of it. I don't know what I did with it. All right. Now, ladies. I got one for you. We got to be safe out in these streets. We out here ducking and dodging and getting it in. Okay? So, if you have, let me see, birth controls or a condom in your purse, a condom is worth 10 points. If you got some type of birth control pills or a condom in your purse, it's worth 10 points. We are ladies of the 20th century. You know, you got to be safe if he ain't going to be. So, if you got some birth controls or a condom in your purse, it's worth 10 points. Then I said, I, I knew I lost when you said this was a purse challenge. <laughs> I, uh, uh, Ashley said, I keep a condom. Does, yep, tracks count. I'll take it. The women who are married, I'm sorry, they may not have one. No, yuck. Hey, it's the way of the world, boo. And they say, I'm married and old, oh, 56 now. No. <laughs> I'm 43 now, we're talking. Somebody's Lucy said, lashes make me look like Miss Piggy. <laughs> I have a condom in my purse and have not used it. But guess what? Now it gets you 10 points on the board for your condom or birth control pills in your purse. Yes. Okay. So let me go in with something else. Wait a minute, ladies. I told you, I messed some stuff up. And what she going to get me? Okay, if you got, you ready? And I know it's hard for you guys who've been married. You're just going to have to end up missing out on this, on, on, the, on, that, on that little point right there. And I do apologize for that. Okay, let's see. Perfume. You got some perfume, some cologne, some oil. Or anything, this is 10 points, ladies. Any type of oil or perfume, 10 points. 
perfume is 10 points, ladies. Perfume is 10 points. Count it up. Yes. Look for Y'all look for y'all perfume. Because I didn't knock stuff out my pocketbook. Shelly got 47. Yes, I keep a perfume. Yes. I didn't knock stuff out my pocketbook because it was just so overcrowded. And I'm going to tell you something my sister lost. I'm going to say, I know you're going to mess up somewhere. Because I always... <laughs> She gonna say, I know you're gonna mess up somewhere. I know you're gonna mess up somewhere. Cause that's what I do. I always mess up somewhere. Cause it's more things on this list that I don't have in my purse because I done messed up somewhere. <laughs> I done dropped stuff out of my purse because there was so much stuff in here. But I know what I can pull out. This is unpredictable, but guess what? A screw, she put a screwdriver. Now, who has a screwdriver? If you're unscrewing something, you might pull a tool out. It's all about fun, but do you got a screwdriver in your purse? Because if you got a screwdriver in your purse, this is the ultimate point of 25. Bye. If you got a screwdriver in your purse, this is the ultimate point. Oh, somebody said, I have a knife. <laughs> TT Baby said, I have a knife. I have a. <laughs> somebody finally at 67. But there is a screwdriver in here, guys. I done messed this purse game up because you know why? I knocked stuff out that I can't find. Looking for stuff that I was naming. Oh, yes. I know. Oh, look, somebody said, Dag, in my car, on the door. You never knew you was going to need it, right? I'm only at 42. Yeah. Somebody said, God damn. I have a butter knife and a small hammer. Well, guess what? That's that's very interesting. <laughs> I got one. One one my work belt. Oh, okay. But if it's in your pocket purse, no, no, it don't count. Okay, y'all ready for this one? Somebody said, do guns count? No, because I ain't pulling no gun out my purse. <laughs> Are y'all ready? Okay. The next thing I have in here are bobby pins. Do anybody even still? Oh, Phyllis of 72 points. Bobby pins. I always leave it in my car. You never know. Right, Bubble Queen? Anybody got some bobby pins? Um, bobby pins are worth two points. Bobby pins are worth two points. When I say I got breath mints, bobby pins are worth two points points guys yes and it's something else in here nope hair too short somebody say this is not a purse this is an overnight bag <laughs> right look i guess she had to make this game challenging but fun challenging but fun you can clean that purse out or whatever and stuff okay I'm almost at the end of this purse, y'all. Because Jackson, since Jackson didn't go get the final thing, I got two more things that's on my list that Jackson didn't go help me because I forgot to put it in. But I'm going to give y'all a bonus since I don't have it. I think I went through the whole list. Yep, I'm looking at this whole list. Okay, y'all ready? Gloves. Who got gloves? If you got any type of gloves, y'all know with everything going on, you got some, you got sanitizer, you got gloves, you got masks. Who got some gloves? Gloves are worth five points. Does right off count when I'm making a list? I make one purse. <laughs> you got some gloves. In your purse, gloves are worth five points. Five points, ladies. 
We gonna do this again one day in a couple of weeks. I want y'all put everything y'all know in y'all heard. Oh hell yes, blue rubber ones, ninety-seven points. Somebody up ninety-seven points. Hey, you carry a lot of stuff in your points and your purse. Hey, Smitty Smith, absolutely gloves. Yes. Okay, so the last thing I'm supposed to have in this purse that this is my game. It's not Jackson's fault, but I forgot, and my, my sister-in-law is going to get me. So since I don't have it, I'm going to place something else in there, and I'm going to give it the point that it was supposed to have. So last but not least, if you got, you know why? Because Revelin to me is my show. If you got some type of sunglasses or glasses or anything like glasses or sunglasses or shades in your purse, the total of 15 points. 15 points if you got some regular glasses, you got some shades that lay back in the sun that look cool and everything, or you got the glasses to help you see. 15 points, lady. The screwdrivers was worth 25 points. The screwdrivers were 25 points. Uh, living the blessed I said, yes, I'm up to 87 points. Yes. 94 points. Yes. Debbie, 65. Porgy Queen, 76. Erica, 67. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. I done lost a lot of stuff. Oh, that came out the perfume bottle. So, guys, guess what? You guys, everybody, ooh, not, Mama T speaks at 94 points. T got 92 points. T, I need to investigate your purse. <laughs> New Life Dirt, I need to investigate your purse. And we ain't doing no double ups. Talking about I got three chopsticks. Is that, is, is that um two points for each one? No, it's one. It said, yes, yeah, sunglasses, reading glass, 109 points. Phyllis, Easton, Shore View, 109 points. Points. If anybody else got over 109 points, oh my God, but you 131, but Batania Brown. Phyllis and Batania Brown seem to be the two top winners. Well, Batania Brown, this is the end of what's in my purse game. Having the pack at 131. Miss Brown coming in at second at 109. Oh my God, Miss Bullock coming in third at 120. Winter gloves, any gloves. Any gloves, I don't care, it's just gloves, it's five points. The niece boy coming in at 79. Yes, I love it, I love it. Earlier, congratulations, ladies. Yes, earlier today, when I put it up, um, I'm sorry, Monique. She said, contact, I wear contacts. Yes, do any gloves count? They're gloves, they could be work gloves, they could be. Any type of glove, they could be gloves, 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 snow gloves, anything. You know what? <laughs> I had a whole bunch of that. Don't um call. I packed. <laughs> oh man, hundred percent. We all wanted. Yes, hundred percent. You guys are all winners because uh, Miss Patty got seventy. Because before you, so you guys have half of these things in your purse, and to get up as high as you get, let your light shine. Got seventy nine. Somebody said I always carry toilet paper, but you know what? Well, I was the when she gave me the list. I was naming things that wasn't on here. And she's like, no, because you got to make it challenging. You got to make it fun. You know, people going to have credit cards. You know, people might have some coins or people might have some money or something. She said, I made it challenging, you know, and fun and stuff like that. So, yes. Yes. Hello, Bitsy. <laughs> Cheesy Baby got 86. Yes. Looking forward to playing again. I think we could play this game again. Over here, garage door tech. <laughs> I only have 47 point, and I got to put more in my <laughs> Well, they say I got to put more things in my purse. I know that's right. Like I told you guys, I am trying to bring in more fun content to this channel. We, with everything going on, we need to, we need to stay lit. We, no life say zero. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Harris. Lucy said, bag 36. Yeah, 200 points, Dorothea Thomas. Some who got Dorothea Thomas? Mm. I love when you say yes. Oh, uh, thank you, Ashley. <laughs> Somebody said a razor and a gun. That's it. it was for I got a bigger purse. But that's it. I got a big purse. I ain't gonna tell y'all when. 
and I'll let you know when I drop it because we're going to do it again. I'm going to have some common things that we normally have in the purse, but things that's just outside the box that make you wonder and think and make you clean that purse out. You may want to switch up to a, another purse. I'm, I know you are, baby. <laughs> You played it well, so see, I'm going to play this with my family. Yes, play it with your family. It's so much fun. You'll never know what's in it. Uh, but this was the list that was created by my sister-in-law. Like I said, guys, we got more excited things coming up for you guys. Especially, can't wait for a paint tomorrow. I got my stuff. Yep. 7 o'clock, um, Sipping Paint is coming to the end. It was for the whole month of September. And uh, we got two more Fridays left this Friday and next Friday. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a, a collage um, of every painting that we did in the video at the end when it's over. So everybody can see all the hard work we put in. Doing things that we never thought we could do. You know, I ain't know if I had no painting up in me. But it's fun to try. And so we still trying to figure out what we're going to do for the month of October. I came up with something because Thanksgiving time. <laughs> Kim Kim said, Tanya, you know some of them lied. But you know what? I don't know. I can't prove it. I just hope, um, you know, I believe in my soul school. I got a bunch of good, honest people. People said no when they didn't have this. And they said yeah when they had that. And people said, what? Come on now. <laughs> but in, in, at the end of the day, it's about having fun, being honest, and being positive. And I think that came through. I think you guys owned it, owned up. You came through with the fun, and we had so much fun. Like I said, Fridays in October. What's that say? What'd you say, Lil' Life? I don't know how much of this person weighs. <laughs> um. October Fridays are coming up uh, since Thanksgiving is coming. I know a lot of men may not like this, but one of the ideas um, that I asked for, I was telling her that I, somebody that person said weigh 45 pounds. <laughs> but, um, yes, we, um, Friday in October, uh, it's almost your birthday. I know. And you know what? I didn't put an order in for a cake yet. I, only, I told my son today. My son said, Mom, I'm going to buy your cake for your birthday. He told me to go to Fluffy Thoughts. Um, Fluffy Thoughts is where they always get they. Thank you. Let your light shine in faith. Um, I haven't called Fluffy Thoughts yet to order a cake. I told him, I said, you know what? I don't even know if I want no cake. That's because we've been having cake for a while. I'm going to give it a try. Um, Because y'all know, my son Fufu had a birthday. No, his birthday coming up. I got to get him a cake. Andrew's birthday was Monday. Andrew is now officially 21, y'all. His birthday was September the, September the 14th. Andrew, I got him cupcakes and ice cream for his birthday. My granddaughter... um. My granddaughter's birthday is tomorrow, Friday. But since she wasn't going to be here, last night we had cupcake and ice cream for her little uh, son. Happy birthday to her and gave her some of her presents. And um, so we had cakes then. And then Tia's birthday just left. Tia made a cake, had a little piece of that cake. And then um, before that, in August, you know, Brandon had a cake. Joshua had a cake. I'm tired of cake. I'm caked out. And now my birthday here. Hey, it's pink strawberries. Hey, pink strawberries. Oh, your, That's the same day Jackson's birthday, Yolanda. Jackson's birthday is October the 16th. He be 16 years old. Then Jackson got a birthday coming up. So I was like, I told my son. Child, Andrew got to go on Friday. Y'all got to cross y'all fingers for Andrew. Because he went. He passed the physical, and the physical lasts for two years. He passed the physical, but he did not pass the Wichicom test. I forgot the name of the test that you got to take. You got to get 31 points or higher. He got 28 points, and so now he has to go back on the 25th. And take the test, but he been. I'm um, talking to his recruiter. He been studying, and he got 28 points without even studying. And the recruiter said that was damn good that you got. You need 31 or more, and he got 28 points, and he never even studied for the test. But ever since then, he been studying for the test. And I just told him today. I said, I hope you study for that test because if once he take it on Friday on the 25th. 
If he don't pass it on the 25th, he can't take it for six more months. So I asked him every day, have you been studying? He said, I've been studying for an hour a day. I said, have you? He talked to his recruiter about two days ago, and she calls to check in and make sure he's been studying because he did damn good for, for never seen the test before, never, um, Never even seen the test before, and he got a 28, and you need 31 and up. So she told him, if you, they, so they gave him a month. They told him that you could study this, and you could get more than that 31. So hopefully on the 25th, he go back September 25th to take that test. And if he passed that test, then he'll be out of here. If he don't pass it, he got to wait six months, but he passed everything else. He did everything with the physical. He was gone for a whole day and a half. They came and picked him up and everything. But we just waiting on that now. Brooklyn in the house, Lady D. So I got confidence in it. I told Andrew, I said, you're going to pass it because you did it not even studying and you got a 28 on it. So he going to do it. He going to do it because he won it badly. He won it. This boy has stopped smoking. His, his urine is clean. Everything. He refused to smoke. He refused to. This is, this is what he wants. So I told him he got it. So, yeah, so on the 25th, y'all, he go and take his test on the 25th. That's I, t I just told him today, that's next Friday. He said he ready. So, yeah, I think he could do it. If you could do something without studying and miss it by three points. Thank you, Stacy. I think now that he's been studying, I told him if he could just get 31, he said, Mom, that's why I'm saying I want to do more. He said, but if I just get that 31 and get my foot in the door. I said, get your foot in the door. Excuse me, get your foot in the door that's a lot of good opportunities that he won yeah um that bubble queen said that's what my son did and he's 23 yeah and andrew is now officially 21 years old he is a grown man 21 i got one baby left that's jackson october the 16th jackson will be 16 and so i actually y'all know i call jackson name for everything jackson 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 i call jackson name so much when you guys my soul squad said you need to put a, a shirt out with jackson name on it that's how much i bugged that baby and so i asked him i said oh well mama jackson oh the mama jackson toy yes okay y'all guess what happened to my mother always looking for something my mother we was looking for my granddaughter's tablet and she was time for her to go to bed last night. Her father came out. Y'all seen, y'all seen, um, y'all seen her tablet? My sofa, my couch, it eats up everything. Everything drops down into my sofa. Is it? It ends up on the floor at the bottom of the couch. And so I was like, no, y'all got, you know, you better lift them couches up. The last time I seen her, she was on the couch with her tablet. And so we lifting up the couches. Mama Jackie over there bending over under the couch trying to look for something, a tablet up in the corner. She had her chair, because you know, when you bending over, you put something behind you, because if you tired from bending over, you're going to come back, and you're going to sit in the chair, and be like, oh, my back hurt. So, this damn Joshua did not pay attention that his grandmother was bent over back first, bent over, looking for something, so Joshua come past to get past. He moves the chair out the way. Didn't put it back. So y'all know what happened, right? Grandma Jackie went down like a light. She went down like a tree. You know, my mama, 69 years old, about to be 70. But, you know, bending over standing up gets the best of her she get tired and when she went to as so you know i'm a fat girl us heavy people some of us small people when you tired you go in full force with all your weight you just go go oh you go flop down in that chair so mama jackie without looking didn't know the chair was moved from behind her last night she went back for all her weight and that's all we heard so i'm saying Boom! And she screamed, and we all turned around. I said, oh, my God! And she said, she was on the floor. Uh, I said, oh, my God. She got the, she, my, not gonna lie, my mama did cry. She had tears in her eyes because she said she was hurt. And I said, before we all start laughing, because I ain't gonna lie, we did laugh because she laughed at herself, too, after we found out she was okay. 
Because I, everybody's like, Grandma, everybody came running. Joshua came running. Michael came running. But she ain't want nobody to touch her. They said, Grandma, what happened? What happened? She said, who moved the damn chair? Who moved the chair? And John said, I moved the chair. I said, oh, my God. I said, you okay? You okay? And she was on the floor, flat on the floor, on her butt. Because she used so much force because she thought she was going flopping in the chair. She went flopping on the floor. So all of that force that... um. She had for that chair, it went directly to the floor. And I got wood floors. And so, but she wouldn't let nobody touch her. The boys try to help her. And that's just like me. When I fell, like in 2013, 2014, I felt I was going to my car and I fell off the sidewalk. For some reason, I lift my foot up the um to come down off the sidewalk, and I just missed the sidewalk, and I fell completely in the street. And I understood what she said. She don't want nobody to pick you up because it's like an overweight thing because when you're like overweight and some people trying to pick you up and they need more than one person to try to pick you up, they don't know which way to like to lift you or try to lift you. So you want to sit there. So she sat there because like when I fell in the street, all my kids was around me and they sat there. I said, don't nobody touch me. Just leave me alone. Let me sit because I had to sit there to figure out which direction I was going to roll. Because I ain't going to lie. I'm a big girl. So I got to roll to get up. Okay. To the knees. And then get myself up. So she wouldn't let nobody touch her. So I, I said, I understand. I said, because when I fell, I didn't want nobody to touch me. So she sat down like, she, <laughs> she sat there about 15 minutes. And because everybody standing over top of her watching her. She sat there so long that everybody started walking away. Because <laughs> she said she ain't want nobody to touch her. And then when she finally decided to get up, she did what I thought she was going to do. She was going to have to roll to her knees. And since, and since she fell right there where the sofa was, she was able to roll to her knees and use the sofa and to hold up on and then use her other hand to push up on her legs. But she wouldn't let nobody, she wouldn't let nobody um, touch her. So that's what she said. She hopes she don't got to go to the hospital. She said she don't want to go to the hospital because of Corona. My mother is crazy. She don't want to go. She said, I said, well, nothing in Brussels. You ain't hurt your hip or nothing like that. And she said, no, but her butt bone hurt. Because when she fell, it's like you fell in the middle of your crack of your butt bone. So... When she's now that she sit down for a long time, she get up, she can't walk. When she got out the bed this morning to go home, she couldn't hardly walk. I said, why you want? She said, I can't walk. So I said, so where hurt it? I said, your butt cheeks hurt? She said, no, not my butt cheeks. She said, the butt bone, that pelvis right there, that bone right there, that pelvis. That's what she landed on. And so that's what she, uh, yeah, she injured her tailbone. And I told her that she said, I'm scared to go home and take a bath. I said, why? She said, because if I sit in the tub, I ain't going to pay to get out. I said, that is so true. I said, if you go home and you take a, a hot bath, you're not going to be able to get up out the tub. Because that's how bad the butt, the pelvis, that um, tailbone hurt. So I told her to go home. I said, when you go home, she said, when I go upstairs, I ain't coming back downstairs. I said, don't come back downstairs. I said, you had Tutu or you had your brother go get you whatever you need. So um, I, I told her to lay on her stomach. I said, don't put no pressure on your butt. I said, go home, lay flat on your stomach for the night. I said, when you want to get up, you call your brother. They help you to the bathroom or something. I said, but when you go home and go get in the bed, I say, lay on your stomach. So when you cause I'm giving y'all some true fat people facts here. Because when you lay on your stomach flat like that, Everything going to get loose and jiggly. So that means that the butt is going to loosen up by you laying on your stomach. And it's going to be a little jiggly. And so you can lay on the stomach and shake your butt. I told her, shake your butt. You know, because sometimes when you in pain, when you put pressure on certain pain areas, even though it may hurt, it also feel good too. So I saw her lay on her butt. I saw her lay on her stomach and jiggle her butt a little bit. I said, jiggle the butt. Jiggle the butt. She was such a say, jiggle the butt. I said, jiggle your butt to loosen it up. I said, you could feel some of that pressure let off, let off of you in that um that tailbone. Yeah, but she laughed too. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you how good a troop of my mama is. Why well, mama tell me why you ain't had the camera ready? I said, what? 
I said, Ma, don't nobody sit around with no camera in that damn hand 24-7. She said, there's a big good for your YouTube channel. <laughs> And that's how good a trooper, and that's how much my mother think about my YouTube channel. This woman said, this would have been good for your YouTube channel. <laughs> I said, Ma, I just don't have a camera. I don't, you don't know when stuff is going to happen. I said, oh my God. I said, yeah, my mom a trooper. My mom said, this would have been good for your YouTube channel. When she did that, man, I was dying laughing. She hurt it. She in pain, but she said, guess what? You could have got some hits and likes off of this. <laughs> That's my mama. <laughs> yes, it is. I said, girl, go ahead. <laughs> yep. So that was so funny. That's another happened to my mama last night. <laughs> and here. That was so funny. <laughs> she said, always have your camera ready. <laughs> oh, hey, my baby chilling. Yes, that's why I said too. But her butt do hurt. And I saw that she called me a couple of times. And I haven't spoken to her all day. Because like I said, I've been out all day doing stuff. Came back. I had a very important business meeting that I ended up missing. Oh, and that's another thing. Ended up missing my business meeting at 4 o'clock. Because I couldn't find... I couldn't find the link that they gave me for the Zoom meeting. So I had to text them, you know, to apologize because that's so unprofessional of me to, 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 to miss a meeting that's been set up at least for a week and a half on Zoom and it's something that's going to benefit me. But I had to text them and apologize. You know, I got caught up in the street, the traffic, we was in the Target and then doing what we had to do. Then it started raining. Then when I got in the house to go straight to it, I, and you know, when you rushing and you anxious, you can't find anything and i had starred the meeting in my in my star in my in my in my um inside my um email and i'm looking through everything i went to star with all your why star all my important stuff that and i'm just looking honey i'm all way <coughs> i'm all the way down in august and i said i know this is not august i come up <coughs> i come up I find the people name and information, but guess what? I only find the very first initial emails that we were talking on. I couldn't find the separate links that they had sent me separately that I know I start for my meeting for today at four o'clock. So I had to gradually just send them the email and it was like it was like four sixteen. The meeting was at four o'clock. So I just gradually sent them an email, you know, apologizing and that I got caught up in time. And I truly, you know, appreciate, you know, that you guys wanted to work with me and I apologize to them and everything. Hopefully they'll send me an email back. Because you know it's real life. Things happen. I was out vlogging. I was out going to the store, trying to find my granddaughter's um birthday present. My son was buying his birthday present for her, and you know I got caught up and lost of time. And it was just, and I came in, came back. Tia mentioned Miss Jackie this morning. I prayed for yes, cause we had to tell Tia about it. I told Tia about it last night, or I told Tia about it. Then Tia had me on the phone six o'clock in the morning. I think I told Tia about it early this morning. What had happened to her mother? Look, I say her mother. Yeah, I am. Because, you know, my my voice, I be talking, my voice get dry. Yeah. So, it was a busy day. But all is well that ends well. You know why? That's what I do. And I couldn't find it because by me being late and being upset for being late, I think I overlooked it. And I was getting anxious because... I get anxious really quick. I do very bad under stress. I get nervous and I start shaking or shaking. <laughs> I ain't shaking nobody. <laughs> I start shaking. I have very bad anxiety. That's one thing. I have anxiety. And I told you guys that once before about highways. So I have very bad anxiety. And my anxiety kick there, kicks in when I get anxious or and then I start getting confused and I start getting upset and I can't concentrate or think and, and I get upset. And and so yeah, I have very bad anxiety. Is there a pill for it? I don't know. I'll tell him, Maddie. Yeah, so you know, I don't think I blew anything, cause um, 
Um, because I think um, they still going to email me about the meeting and stuff. I think I'll be okay. But, yeah. Yeah, don't worry. That's why I say I'm not going to worry about it. Yeah. When you say medication is great for anxiety, everyone have a great night and be. All right, Linda. I'm about to sign off too because guess what? A girl is hungry. I've been up since 6 o'clock this morning. I ain't had no stitch of food. I ain't had nothing. Matter of fact, my throat's so dry because if I think about it, I ain't had nothing to drink all day. Not only did I didn't have no food, I haven't drunk anything. No water, no nothing. From the time I rolled up this bed this morning, I had nothing. And I went to McDonald's. Took two people to McDonald's two times. Didn't buy anything because I kept saying... I want to go home because I did a, car, a grocery haul for you guys. That video coming next week. And I said, I want some turkey sausages. I had some Jimmy Dean turkey sausages and I want an egg and cheese. I kept, that's all that was on my mind all day long is that I want them turkey sausages and egg and cheese. So I stuck to it. Each time I took each person to McDonald's, they said, you want something? I said, nope. I said, I'm, um. I'm going to get something when I get home. I said, I'm going to get home and I'm going to eat when I get home. And then by the time I got here at 4.30, trying to rush find the stuff for the meeting. And then I couldn't find the stuff for the meeting. Then ending the blog once I got here. And then I look at the time. It was 5.20. I said, oh, my God. Because I almost forgot thinking I'm going on at 7 o'clock the way I do for um, sipping paint. And I said, no, it's six o'clock because this is one of my regular videos, it's supposed to be six. And so I got set enough to come on at six o'clock. So nothing to drink, nothing to eat since so 6.30 this morning. That's why, and that's why I'm, I'm coughing now because the throat, I've been talking, the throat is so dry. But I'm about to go make me some turkey sausage. Jackson sleep, y'all, over here sleeping on the sofa. Because he asked me the same thing. He said, you had McDonald's? I said, I ain't had no McDonald's. I said, them your brothers. I took them. I said, I want some, um, I just ordered a cheese steak sub, Mimi. I know, that's right. Uh, somebody, no I like, said, Jackson, she needs some water. <laughs> I am. Yeah, I'm about to give me some. Um, so, Jackson haven't eaten either. Because when I left out this morning, I think he was eating on a, um, what was he eating on, Jackson? Uh, a Lunchable. Jackson was eating a Lunchable this morning. When I left out, and so he was in school all day, and then when I came back, he was asleep. So he woke up with a CPI. Mom, what you eat? So I'm about to make me and Jackson. Guess I'm about to make me and Jackson. Either sausages, eggs, and grits, and toast, or either, I don't have no fruit grease, Miss Grease, I don't have, or either some pancakes, sausages, and eggs. One of them. It depends on how I feel when I get up on whether or not I feel like making pancakes or grits. I don't know which one I want to make, but we we are getting some turkey sausages, uh, and I am making some eggs, and I'm not making it for nobody but me and Jackson, because y'all saw everybody got food, right? Michael had Chick-fil-A's, in which they offered me some, but I said no, because I said I really want some turkey sausages. Brandon came and got McDonald's. Mm-hmm. Andrew was with me. He came home with McDonald's. Mm-hmm. Joshua... I don't know what he had in that room, but I saw a bag of something in his room. So guess what? I think me and Jackson, we're, yep, I want some cheese grits. I'm making some cheese grits, some turkey sausages, and some eggs. And bottled water. I'm, I got my ice maker on, and I'm going to fill my coldest water bottle. Y'all, when I fill that coldest water bottle up with ice, hey, Key Cam and the fam, when I fill that thing up with ice, and I pull a bottle of water in that. Hey, Do John, that is the best water. Oh my God. I be having that thing by my bed. Mm. I love that I did partner up with that because I ain't had to buy one. And I love that thing. Says, so save me something. Save me on that. I know that's right. And I'm about to make a big bottle of water. I love my soul squad. I see 200, 337 people, only 234 likes. Come out the chat. Hit the like. Enjoy that show, so please. Like and share. Yes, or more. Yes. It Andrew. Okay. Good night, everybody. I love you guys. Guess what? Be live tomorrow.
I will be live tomorrow at 7 o'clock for our third sip and paint. Go on to the community board. Find out the colors that you need. We're going to have some fun tomorrow. Get your favorite bottle of wine. Hey, Anna, I am out. Girl, them oatmeal pies was torched, lady. You done spoiled my family. Them oatmeal pies are so good. They tomorrow, get the recipe from you. But yeah, I'm out. Good night, everybody. I mean, you gonna get something to eat? Yeah. See? See? Josh just went out the door. Y'all heard me ask him, where you going to get something to eat? Yes, though, John. If you come in on Saturday, you know, bingo, I could do it. I don't know how to do it from the phone, but I could do it from the laptop. And I'll be on the laptop on Saturdays. You see? So y'all know. I ain't feeding nobody tonight. Man, Josh just went out the door and said he going to get him something to eat. So y'all know, when you think about sober tea tonight, think about me and Jackson. Because we going to what? Me eat all day, all day. I'm going to make some turkey sausage, some cheesy grits, and some eggs and cheese and toast. And me and Jackson going to eat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to make it so good that people be like, Mom, what you cooking? None of your business. <laughs> Cause me and my son ain't eat today. I ain't getting nobody nothing. <laughs> they get on my nerves. You gonna fix my phone? Let me get finished. It's, it's, it's oh, it's doing it now? Yeah. <laughs> my baby fix my phone. I know that's right. That's the he and he just wants the door, so guess what? He gone with his brother. They gone get in the car because he don't got the door for nothing. That's my editor, y'all. The last one that just came by. That's my editor. Now you know what? I think I'm going to make him something because some of the fact is, no, he's going with his brother. So he may be going to get something to eat, too, because I don't know if he ate all day. I wasn't here, but that's a big boy. Trust me, he probably made himself something to eat. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to cook for me and Jackson. I'm out, Soul Squad. See you guys at 7 o'clock tomorrow. Hey, hey, I hope you enjoyed the purse game. Hey, 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 hey. Bye, Sister Tia. My phone going dead. <laughs> and I got my new iPhone. Yes. I'm out. <laughs>